Hi, this is Sarah, and today I'm going to tell you my story. Well, one of my stories. This is the story of how I was attacked and um, how I dealt with that. I used to live in South Africa, and it's um, not a safe place for women. The rate of rape and the rate of AIDS are the highest in the world, and so those two statistics are really, really crazy for women. Um, but I lived in a middle to upper class suburb called Oranyaza on the side of the mountain and it was this beautiful Saturday afternoon warm and I was waiting for my best friend to pick me up on the side of the road right outside of our apartments um, where I lived. I was wearing a long floral dress and uh, was sitting by the side of the road um, on the pavement by the wall and I guess I must have looked fragile. Uh, what my attacker didn't know is that I had cowboy boots underneath my floral dress. And also, thanks to the grace of God, I had attended just the week before my first and only self-defense class of my life. So I'm sitting there, it was about 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, and um, no one's around, it's very quiet, just waiting for my best friend to pick me up. And I see a uh, guy walking up in workman's clothes, kind of talking to himself or, or, or saying something. Um, and he, he keeps walking up the hill, and I just pretty much ignore him, thinking he's going along his business. And as he reaches me, he bends down and puts his hands around my neck and starts telling me what he's going to do to me, how he's going to hurt me and rape me. And I remember my first feeling being just absolutely insulted and completely angry, like, who do you think I am? Don't you know who I am? I mean, how dare you? I, I just remember being so insulted and so freaking angry. And just from that one self-defense class, I threw my hands up like this so that I could get his arms away from my neck. And at the same time, I lifted my cowboy boot, one of them, up right where he was standing in his V, so right into his kahunas. And at the same time, I screamed in his face. And you don't know if you're going to do these things or not, but I screamed, Get the fuck away from me! And he got such a fright because of all of this happening at the, all at once that he kind of staggered backwards. And in that moment, I was up and I was running towards the apartment block and I was screaming. But I remember from the training, this one self-defense class, one hour, one self-defense class, I remember being told, don't say help, say fire, because no one comes to help. Well, I did call fire, fire, no one came to fire, fire either, just so you know. But the guy was spooked enough that he kept on walking. He kept on shouting back slurs at me, like, I'm going to come back for you, ha, ha, ha. I got the upper hand, but he started to kind of walk really quickly to get away. Um... So, and I'd never seen him again, and it was a victory moment for me, it really was. Scary as it was, it's good to know that I could react, that I couldn't, that I wouldn't freeze, and that just from one self-defense class can totally save your life.